My parents, my father is from Masimura in the north, and my mother is a Sanda Timni, but I was born in Matrujong. So that basically makes me a Timni by tribe and a Mende by cultural orientation. I was born in Fuindu a village in the Kailan district, Penjabunge Chibdon. I am from Kailao, but I was raised in the north, Koenadugu. Born of uh, Pendembu, Kailan district. I was born in Sierra Leone Freetown, Western area, um, to be specific, Fulatong. I went to school in Matrujong, attended the Muti Magai Teachers College, where I was first Secretary General, then later became Student President, and I was later also elected as a Secretary General of the National Union of Sierra Leone Students. Uh, I came to the United States in 1991 and went to the University of Wisconsin in Madison. I attended the Kenema Government Secondary School, the Bull Government Secondary School, Pro Bay College, and the University of Laverne. I have a master's degree in, ed in education in, in public, public school management. I schooled in um, the RC Primary School and then um, St. Joseph's Convent, Moyamba, and then the Kabbalah Secondary School. I attended um, Milton Magai College, College of Education. I was in final year when the war break, I came to America. When I got to America, I did the um, LPM, which is a licensed nurse. I'm presently in the University of Mountain States in Virginia and pursuing a bachelor's in nursing. I attended uh, uh, Fuendu Primary School, then I later came to Union College Practicing School in, in Bonimbo. From, from there I came to Christ the King College, Bo, and uh, I did my sixth form in a Bo Government Secondary School. Then I came to Frobe College where I, graduated, I, I did my first degree in uh, economics. Then I went, I worked for Bank of Australia for some years. I went to University of Bradford where I did my MSc. I started my school in Sierra Leone. Went to the RC school, Penembo, RC school, Yengema, and the Yengema Secondary School, the Bo Government Secondary School, and Frobe College. I graduated from Frobe College in June 1985. Came over to the United States, October 1993. After teaching for eight years in various secondary schools in Freetown and the provinces. I studied at Ohio State University and obtained a master's degree in history and another master's degree in education. Thank you. 
MC of the night, Mrs. Namisa Koroma. SLP Oye. Sierra Leone People's Party. One country. One people. One country. Good morning. Um, before I say anything, this election for SLP this year was really a great election. And ladies and gentlemen, the right man for the right position won. Because we all know 2012 is going to be a very tough year. And from the crowd I'm seeing in this hall, I am very pleased. Because I know that this man, I've worked with this man in Tegloma. And I know he's formidable. I know he's an organizer. And I know he's a pusher. So I know he's going to get all of us in here organized and he's going to mobilize us to make sure that the Sierra Leone people's pride is in in 2012. And believe me, with everybody in here, I know that is going to happen. But before I say a whole lot, let me call the people in. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please welcome the SLPP Chairman, North American um, Region, Mr. Augustine Boss and his wife, Zaina Fala.
Tell your friend, you are doing it because you have a life to do it. I would like this congregation with your kind indulgence to everybody to stand up right now. If you are sitting, please stand up. Stand up, please. Please stand up for what you are enjoying. People made it to happen. And this is not the first time for SFPP to be like this. We started this year with people who became very productive to build up this party. This same place, at this same hour, at this moment, few months ago, well, we are here. Some of them we are here. Some of them have passed away. From January to this particular month, I would like you all, please, to pay two minutes respect, including the leader, our brother, Umaru J. Lamin, who became the secretary for SWP in this nation, including Mr. Tucker and all those that have passed away who made SWP today the way it is. Please, just two minutes, then I will render a short prayer. King of kings and Lord of lords, the great I am that I am. The almighty God. When you speak, the whole world trembles. You created the sky, no pyramid. It has never fallen down. Oceans obey you. Fishes in the sea obey you. Animals of four legs obey you. But Father, you still know what I regret for making the man. Because they are stiff necked people. But God, we thank you for you are a God of compassion. You are a God of forgiveness. Tonight, in this place, you have gathered everybody into this place tonight from all walks of life, from that little, beautiful nation, Sierra Leone. A party, a treasure party, a treasure party that is in this country. But your word says, trouble will come, but we shall never be in distress. Yes. Amen. 
Persecution will come, but we shall never be forsaken. We shall become perplexed, but never be in despair. They will roll us on the ground. They will put us into prisons. They will kill our people. But we shall rise up again in this hour. I pray for the era of responsibility. That a change has come. A change for the better. A change for the new leadership. Father God, we worship you this night. We bow before you. We honor you. Forgive us. Because we are not perfect before you. The code of Israel itself, you created it. But whatsoever, any demonic work, any witchcraftness, sorcerers of his kind, demons that are not supposed to be in there. Father God, this night, oh God, we commit to a to your hands. Be the leader of that nation. That every leader you have appointed, we pray that God, you touch their hearts to turn their hearts unto you, God. We cannot afford Satan to visit Satan. But we can take Satan to bow before God. The Jehovah Yahweh, the Adonai, the Elohim, the mighty God. Father God, tonight, continue to bless this body. Any sin we have committed, maybe within the very party, we have become disgruntled. So many things are following upon our hearts. But God touch our hearts tonight. Amen. That we should become submissive, Amen. subservient Amen. into your own world. Amen. We thank you for the new leadership. Yes, we thank you for the new leader of this particular chapter. Yes, that God you bless our brother. Direct him. Amen. Remember Joshua said, Me and my family, we shall worship you. Father God, let him worship you. Let him get the wisdom from you. Let him get the knowledge from you. Man, who is man that you should be mindful of? We thank you, God, tonight. As we have come here tonight, all those who came from other states, Father God, go back with them. Bless them on the road, O God. Protect them, O Father God. Protect their family, O Father God. Wherever they may go, let your spirit be with them. We thank you tonight. The new executive is in your hands. Guide them. Protect them. We thank you all tonight. We bring everything under your power. In Jesus' name, let's let me pray. We shall you all give a prayer for Jesus. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one history in the making. Al Haji Mustafa Sila. Thank you, Mr. Bannister. Alaji Mustafa Sila, Mr. Francis Bundu, the current electoral commissioner, Mr. Mana Magao, Matthew Mana Magao, the current chairman of the Board District Council, who was the immediate president before our regional chair, Mr. Augustine Bosfali. While most family leaders might not be here tonight, I thank you who are here and those who for other reasons are unable to make it for your service to our party. No matter how we try, I cannot thank you enough for your service to this Sierra Leone People's Party. Tonight, we have representatives from other chapters who are here to grace this inauguration. Thank you to the regional chairman Mr. Augustine Boss Fallon, <laughs> Vice Chairman Raymond Alpha, Young Generation Leader Mr. Lawrence Sandy, Outgone Regional Chairman, my own brother, my friend, my political strategist, Chairman Spapo, <laughs> Salum Sayo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, yours is one reason. While faith in our party must never dwindle because the determination of the few can mobilize the majority. Thank you all for the good work that you do in your various chapters and especially thank you for gracing my inauguration. 
We as a party stopped being in power in 2007. But every day, as you can observe, our chances of assuming that responsibility are getting better. Everywhere, people are saying, yesterday is better than today. It is not difficult to know why. 2012 is looking better. And if we should go by the mood of the people, yesterday is far, far better than today. Our task now is to assure our fellow citizens that we have learned our lessons well and are more than prepared to take back power and move with the agenda that we set for the nation in 2007. That is, and I quote, creating an efficient system for Sierra Leone that will guarantee peace, development, progress, and prosperity for all. We won. We went far in building a system for Sierra Leone. We are the hope for Sierra Leone. As members and supporters of the Sierra Leone People's Party, we should never ever doubt our accomplishments when we were the rulers. While regrouping and restrengthening after our electoral defeat in 2007, we must remember the great things we did for our nation. We reintroduced a workable law and other society which is falling apart under the current regime. Our scorecard on human rights cannot be disputed. Even during the thick of a vicious rebel war, we ensure respect for public property. Our values are indisputable. Always one country, one people. That commitment ushered in peace for our people. A peaceful society is the foundation of development. Historical precedents have never been wrong on this. A peaceful society is SFPP's legacy to Sierra Leone. In 2012, our return to power will be partly determined by our legacy. In 2012, our package of ideas for giving our young people a clear and achievable better future will be another determinant. But getting the message to them in partnership with all the media outlets within and without will be equally crucial. Let those that doubted our commitment to make Sierra Leone a better nation than the current government know that we are learning our lessons well and come 2012, sharp 12, a victory to SFPP is a victory for Sierra Leone. That is our covenant to the people of Sierra Leone. Three times in the golden years of our nation, we have proved to the civilized world that we as a political institution are inherently a democratic institution. We must remain proud of this institutional culture and values. Twice in the history of our nation, historical circumstances have called upon the SFPP to salvage it from colonialism and the scourge of war. We must remain proud of this achievement. We took on this monumental historic attack with honesty, class, and a sense of national decency. We brought independence to Sierra Leone. We saved Sierra Leone from the worst civil war in Africa, thanks to our leaders, Sir Milton Magai and Alaji Dr. Ahmed Tijan Kaban. Our desire to mold Sierra Leone into a strong and powerful nation may have been temporarily derailed, but I have no doubt that we will bounce back in 2012 and take Sierra Leone where it should be. To bounce back in 2012, I need your help. I really need your help for 2012. Within this Washington DC chapter alone, we need to recruit 1,500 people. Between now and December 2010, we need 1,500 people. I would like you to register tonight to become a member of the Sierra Leone People's Party. If you register tonight and become a member of the Sierra Leone People's Party, you will not only be contributing 
to the development and progress of this party, you will be having a hand, a responsibility in the rebuilding of Sierra Leone. I need your help. If you help me now mobilize 1,500 registered members, I would assure you that your contribution will be a strong pillar of support for victory in 2012. Like William F. Stackery once said, there are three things we must succeed in. Learning, piety, and common sense. If you lack learning, you go to school and use good books. If you lack piety, you pray honestly to God for it. But if you lack common sense, neither God nor man is going to help you. Common sense necessitates that we rise up to the task, support the SFPP, remove APC out of power, put the radio on a better road, and take it to the future. I need your help. Thank you for coming tonight. Thank you for coming tonight. I appreciate you. God bless you. I love you. We love Sierra Leone, and God bless Sierra Leone. Thank you. Thank you for being here tonight. Mr. Chairman, Pasquale, thank you for flying all the way over here to raise the situation for us. We appreciate you. We hope you will get all the support you need to move this party where you want it to be. I know you are a man with great vision. You just need the support that you need. To everyone else, thank you very much. And Mr. DJ is all yours. Let's take it to the next step. Select thy kingdom come. Now we can select thy will be done. Oh, oh. Our faith till now begins and so. Sooner or later, we go drop on the floor. I came to the Washington DC metro area around 2005 and right away got involved in the activities of the Sierra Leone People's Party. 
In 2006, I was elected organizing secretary. During that period, there were chapters in New York, New Jersey, Boston, and Philadelphia. But they were not acting as a regional force. As organizing secretary, I was able to coordinate a process whereby these chapters could actually start working as a regional body, enabling the party to achieve some of its basic goals, which was bring people together and at the same time raise adequate funds to enable them to support the party in Sierra Leone. After that period, I decided to go to Sierra Leone and I spent the, re the whole of 2007 in Sierra Leone in a group of two other people as representative of the SLPP in North America to ensure that the party wins the 2007 elections. We mobilized young people across the country, engaged the media, and at the same time launched the first official album, the Wu Tete Special Album, for the 2007 campaigns. The coup came in 1998 when we were, when the coup came, we went to Guinea. Uh, a group was formed called the Group of 400. This was a group put together to advise the president and his cabinet while the government was uh, overseas. I was uh, part of that group. In America, this, this, uh, when I first came, I did not join the party because when you come here, you have a lot of challenges. So but when I got my feet on the ground, I said I have to continue the job that I left unfinished. So I became uh, active in the party again. When uh, John Benjamin came to the United States in uh, July of this year, I mean, with all the travel that he did around the country, that brought about a new energy in the SLPP uh, right here in the uh, North American region. So at that point, some of us decided, well, it's about time for us to get involved in this again and try to see if we can make a difference for our people back home. So we decided to uh, re-engage ourselves I mean, reactivate ourselves in the political affairs and try to do things that will make difference in the lives of our people back home. I've worked in the media in both Sierra Leone and the United States. I was one of the founders of the tablet newspaper of the late 1970s until 1981. I was, I was one of the chief editors of the tablet newspaper, along with names like Hindulo Tri and Pius Foray. I came to the United States when the tablet newspaper was destroyed in 1981. Became a member of this party in 1991 when I uh, came to the United States. I actually came to the United States in 1989. Uh, I've been a member of the party since the days of uh, people like uh, Sam Tucker. As a matter of fact, the very first SAPP telephone line that was ever established in Washington, D.C., I was part of that. So the uh, political awareness in this region is not new to people like us who've been a part of it. And I relocated to the East Coast in December of last year, 2008, and actively became involved with party politics. I found myself as Secretary General of the SLPP in this chapter. I actually became involved in the SLPP um, DC chapter not long ago. Um, I started attending meetings and I found out that there, there was a void, a gap that most women don't participate in politics. And most times we think we are left out. Uh, I found out that we are left out because we don't want to be involved. So the only way our voice can be heard that we can contribute is, is by us getting involved. That was how I got involved.
It is a message of consistency and dedication to a philosophy within a political party that I've always believed in. If you work hard and believe in the people and have a mission that is consistent with the dreams, visions, and desire of the people, you will one day emerge. Because along the way, the people are going to assess you, they will evaluate you, and they will ensure that once you have your scorecard in front of you, they will give you a passing mark. And that's what the people did for me in Washington, D.C. Here in Washington Metro, which is the largest of the, of the diaspora chapters, we are planning to, to launch a newspaper and a regular magazine to promote the, the, the interests, the goals, the interests of the Israeli People's Party here in the diaspora and also at home in Sierra Leone. And pretty soon, our first newspapers and newsletters will be coming up. We have, we have put together a rapid response team here at the, in the local chapter to be responding to attacks on the SAPP. And we are, we are doing great things to counter some of the propaganda that, that used to affect the Australian People's Party. Our message here is to, to let people know that we are really here to bring a change. But I want us to be very open um, and transparent in all our activities. We are looking at Sierra Leone as Sierra Leone, not as a Mende group, a Timni group, Creole group, uh, or a Northern group, Eastern group, Southern group. It's also my responsibility to get actively involved in this whole business of registering members for the party. We believe that this administration on their ask here is first of all going to expand the membership of the party. We are also going to not only expand membership, but also try to engage other members who are already in the party to be functional and just don't be members because you want to be a member. My main goal here is to work very hard in Virginia to bring the young generation together and um, educate them of what I've seen in Sierra Leone. It's a great uh, blessing for me to work with this chairman because I see that um, he's somebody that would be able to move this chapter to a different level. And to raise the amount of money that we need to support the party in Freetown. I mean, we are actually trying to get back into the campaign mode, not only to organize, but actually to recruit 
and to put events together that we can generate fund for this party in the Washington DC area and also try to share ideas with other parties, I mean other chapters. The message I have is for the women. I was one time like one of these women sitting down saying that I don't want to be in politics. You can't be outside and you want to be heard. You have to be inclusive. You have to join the party so your voice could be heard. You contribute and give your ideas. We are ready to listen. Everybody is equally important. So we are asking the men to work with us to give us the support we need so that we can move this chapter as women to where it's supposed to be. I want ballet, I want ballet, I want 
everybody to work together as a team so that we can build the chapter, we can build the numbers, bring in the money and at the same time embark on activities that will promote the party. Common sense necessitates that we rise up to the task, support the SMPP, remove everything out of power, put it on a better road and take it to the future. I need help. Thank you for coming tonight. Thank you for coming tonight. I appreciate you. God bless you. I love you. We love you. And God bless you. Nyanebonyapeyanyangedemadunyejo.Nyanedepeyanyangedemadunyejo.Yahoreje ewawodunya.Maletereke.Ewawodunya.Majesiyareke.Benumunamoleagimasepado.Benumoleagimanajiria. Yeah, I am a mugwe, 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 mug